Hey guys, it's Noe. Um, we are at day number four, um, almost a whole hand. <laughs> um, so yes, we are back at it. And I don't know how many of you are working from home or if you're essential workers or whatnot, but I'm working from home. I spent pretty much all day um, today on Zoom, on Zoom calls. Um, this week has been very heavy with Zoom calls and I just, I'm ready to get my body moving. So hopefully you are too. Um, again, we're keeping with it. Um, we are on day four of 30 day squat challenge. We are going up to 65 squats today. Um, I actually woke up today. I woke up early. I went to bed late, but woke up early and actually felt really good. So maybe it's an attribute to the exercise. We'll see. Um, but I don't have any soreness. My arms feel great. Um, my legs are not sore. I did not have to take any medicine before I went to bed last night. So that's all a good sign, right? So that means I can just push my body a little bit further. So I will probably increase my reps when I do my arm stuff, but we're um, sticking with the squats at 65 today. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get to it, 65. We wanna go deep, and remember you wanna squeeze at the top. So, one, Oop, hit the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, feeling it 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 okay quick little pause rotate to the side here okay 20 21 22 23 24 25, whoo, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Remember to squeeze your belly button in. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, whoo, this is a 38, 39, 40. All right. 25 more to go. All right, let's do this. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Make the last five ones good ones. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. All right. Whew. Okay. I feel the burn. Can you see? I can definitely see the muscle there. It burns right in here. Everywhere else is okay, but right here in my quadriceps. Oh, yes. But it feels good. Um, I don't take that long of breaks or pauses in between. If you need to take, I mean, granted I'm out of breath, but um, it's also hot. Uh, if you need to take more breaks, kind of break it up, feel free to do so. But we did 65 today, so rock on. Good job, guys. All right, let's get into our arms. So remember, we're gonna do our um, bent over row. So you want to keep your back straight, but 
I don't know what angle it is, 45 degree angle, um, something like that. And your arms straight down, and then we're gonna pull up, remember? So I'm actually going to do, I'm gonna increase to two sets of 15 reps, um, which I guess is the same thing as doing three sets of 10 reps. But we'll see, I'm gonna experiment, all right? So two sets of 15 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, feels pretty good, not bad. My legs are still burning. Um, Remember, you want to engage your core as much as you can. I know it's like all this coordination, right? You have to remember, keep your back straight, keep your arms this way, keep your legs that way. Don't lock your knees. <laughs> but once you start to do it, it kind of becomes habit, right? All right, so for our second set of 15 reps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, this is gonna make a difference. Okay, um, then we have our standing upright row. So got my feet about shoulder length apart. And we're remember, we're just gonna pull up into a straight T and you don't want chicken wings, right? Although chicken wings are tasty, you don't want to do chicken wings. Okay, so again, two sets of 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, again, that one is like a lot of like keep my back straight, keep my tummy in, keep my arms straight. So a lot is going on in your mind all at that same time, and that's okay. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, so anytime you're doing these, what I realized when I first started out um, just today is instead of letting the weights completely drop and you feel the weight completely fall into your hand, you wanna keep some tension. So don't let it go completely because you keep that tension and it's like a rubber band on your muscle, right? So it's making it work a little bit harder. So um, just something I observed as I was doing this. All right, so let's do our second set of 15 for the uh, upright row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew. Okay. Yes, definitely the 15, uh, the two reps of 15 is making a difference for me. So, all right, time to get the ball. <laughs> I'm going to get on a ball guys. I'm on a roll. Um, so you're gonna roll down and we're gonna do chest press. And again, this is just like doing a bench press. So uh, just envision that you have a bar. So you wanna keep your arms straight, okay? Um, I'm also going to not let my head roll back, but keep my head kind of even with my back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I'm gonna roll up for this. So one thing that I really recognized with that is the more you squeeze your stomach, the more you squeeze your abs into your spine, it helps you stay steady on the ball. Obviously, this is a stability ball, right? That's what it's supposed to do. But 
since this is what day four for me for consistently working out um, it's kind of cool that I'm starting to recognize these things about my body so hopefully you guys are also starting to recognize those things but um, just really paying attention and being mindful of how your body is working and how the different movements that you use um, how they're impacting your body so as I was squeezing I could tell that I was you know firmly planting myself further on the ball so uh, all right let's do one more set of our presses one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15. <laughs> you know, if it's not the kids, it's the dog and a cat that get in a fight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so now um, we're going to do our overhead press on the ball. So <clears throat> again, my feet are firmly planted. And how did I have my before I think like this okay yes all right so overhead presses two sets of 15 keep your uh, abs engaged that should press your butt further into the ball one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, a couple observations on that. I can feel that my muscles have been getting worked. That was, you could probably see, it's a little wobble here as I was bringing it up. Um, but I definitely feel in my back. My back is stronger than it has been in the last couple days, so I feel that. Um, also, I realize I'm gripping really heavy on my weights. And that is putting more strain into my hands than it is into the muscles that I'm trying to work. So as much as you're possible, or as much as you're able to, hold lightly to your weights. So you may have seen my hands change as I went through it, but if you're holding a heavy grip on your weights, that's gonna be in your hands and not necessarily in the muscles that you're trying to work. So, all right, let's finish this off strong. We're gonna do one more set of 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, dig deep, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There, whoo! All right. We did it guys. So we did 65 squats and we did basically 30 reps in our arms workout. I definitely feel it today. Again, I hope continue to feel it. And that's the nice thing with reps is that you can just continue to increase. So you continue to kind of break those muscles down so they can build up stronger. Um, hopefully you enjoyed kind of the observations, things that I'm noticing about my body as I'm going through this. And hopefully you start to notice this too. Um, definitely still out of breath, um, but that comes with the territory. So at least I know I'm working and getting my heart rate up. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining me for day four and I'll see you guys on day number five. Bye guys.